I'm just looking also at Liverpool and their transfer activity, Carlton. We're going to hear from Jose in just a bit, but do you think today demonstrated perhaps Liverpool need another attacking threat, another midfielder maybe? If you look at their expenditure over the last two summer transfer windows, Thiago came in last year, is been growing into the side. We've seen Konate come in this transfer window. Most of the funds have been made up by sales as well, by the way, like Shakiri's left the club and Harry Wilson. It's been very quiet the last two summers. There were some defensive signings made. I know that also in January because of the injury crisis. And it helps that injured players have returned or some players have been promoted, like Harvey Elliott, from being on loan to being in the, uh, well, in the squad. I, I was just... I was just going to mention Harvey Elliott. I thought he had an outstanding game, and I think he he, he merited um, his, he, with his performance that why he should have started today. You can see he was playing without fear. He was connecting well with Salah, um, getting balls into the box, um, being a threat. And um, Chelsea were worried. They were worried on that right-hand side with him in that team. So he's like a new signing, basically, because he came from Blackburn. He had a brilliant season up with Blackburn. Um, got goals, got loads of assists. So he's come into the side and, and, and Klopp has felt that he, he can do it. And he looked he looked the part today. So I'd say that's like a new signing for, for them. He'll grow in that team. Um, but I have to agree that, yeah, they do probably need an experienced, um, world-class midfielder, a box-to-box -box one. Because right now, when you look at it, um, Keita, um He's supposed to, I think they need that Wijnaldum sort of driving player, the one that makes those late runs into the box. Wijnaldum used to do that and used to come up with um, the goods and now they've lost him. Um, so they need to replace that, I would say. That would be a key element in that midfield. Um, Keita, he, he looks like he's, he, he, he can do it, but he's not reliable um, fitness-wise. I don't think he's, he's, he's robust enough. Um, then you have to, Thiago that came on. I think they brought Thiago on just a bit too late um, for me. That's just, That was my um, opinion. I think Thiago should have come on a little bit earlier just to try and unlock the defence because obviously um, Chelsea were playing a low block. And when you play, when Chelsea play a low block with those experienced defenders in front of you, you need someone that can pick the key and pick the lock. And he would be one of those guys because of his, his, his passing prowess. Um, so... They, they do they do lack another midfielder that's got that driving force that can dribble with the ball forward and that would probably help them in their in their success this season. Jose, what do you think? Transfer market is closing soon. It's been two back-to-back -back summers relatively quiet because we also have to look at what the other clubs have done. Last year, Chelsea splashed the cash. This year, not as many signings, but what a player they bought in Romelu Lukaku. Look at Manchester United. Uh, Manchester City... Jack Grealish, £100 million. He could be a potential game-changer. Spurs have spent some money. Arsenal have spent the most, <laughs> well, one of the highest amounts uh, amongst Europe's top five leagues. I think it's still the most. Liverpool could be left behind. Yeah, in that, in that scenario, I have to be completely honest with you, Adam. I'm, I'm quite disappointed with the transfer window that, that we are going through, you know, and I understand... Uh, Liverpool has been like this for 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 long time since this shortness arrived. Obviously, I remember when they arrived. I actually arrived that summer, and it was a little, a little bit different. They spent hundred million in players that summer, and then. But the reality, they have to realize that actually, when we became not obviously last season, taking last season because it wasn't great, but the two seasons before, obviously winning the Premier League, winning the Champions League, what it makes the difference is making the signing of Van Dijk and, and Alisson. Because we were a great team, but these two, they just brought Liverpool to another completely level. So I don't understand. Yeah, I understand the COVID situation and everything like that. You can say about, like Klopp say about Cristiano Ronaldo going to Manchester United. They were thinking in the future, maybe because of the salary, whatever. Yeah, you can think on that, but it's not United doing it. It's City doing it. It's Chelsea doing it. It's Tottenham doing it, like you say. It's Arsenal doing it. So everyone is doing it apart from you. And for me, you need to renovate the squad and... My, and I say from the start, three positions that I believe they key for us, it will be, uh, you know, like another Tisa Mikas but on the right side, you know, as a fullback, you know, because I don't think Neko Williams is close enough to Trent. I know it's very, very difficult to be close enough to Trent because for me, it's the best right back. But at least a little bit more quality in there. And number eight, like Carlo mentioned there, 100%. I don't even know why we let Gini go, but that's gone. And it's in PSG, nothing we can say. Let's get someone else. And then, in my opinion, I will sign a proper number nine. 
You know, obviously I understand Haaland, Mbappe, these kind of strikers. It's not that they're not gonna want to go to Liverpool, it's just we don't pay the kind of transfer fees and salaries of these kind of players. But I believe we can bring someone, you know, with, with quality because like, I talked to you, uh, I think it was last week uh, when they play against Burn, I think it was the week before. And they, look, Mane and Salah, they're going in January to the African Cup. So who are you going to play? You know what I mean? So I, if you want to compete, we need, we need to sign players. We need to sign, we need to sign at the end. I understand. But look, Mo Salah, we get him for 30 million, Mane for 25 or 30 as well. So yeah, and then you make players. Yeah, it's true, and they become one of the best in their position. Yeah, but if you want titles, I know it's very difficult to win them, and everyone else is spending the money. You have to spend that well because if not, we, what well, is going to happen? That we're going to get to be in a in a top 14, that fighting for the, to get into the Champions League is going to be our target. And and you don't want that. Look what happened last season with the centre back. I know it was very very bad situation, but then you go in January. That actually, if I'm not wrong, we were second. If I'm not wrong. And they go and sign Kabak from Salk that was in relegation. They actually relegated for free, you know, long. Instead of maybe go and sign Konate in that moment, that's when you need it. You know, so that's why I don't understand this transfer policy that is going on. Because we actually make more money already in incomes, the players that they left, that actually were spending players. So I understand, you know, we obviously we build the training ground, uh, we don't stuff in the in the club, you know. Uh, the, it looks obviously the stadium is gonna get even bigger, but that's no excuses because everyone is doing the same thing and they're spending its players as well. So hopefully, to be honest with you, I'm not very positive about it, but hopefully I'm wrong and they bring someone else. Jose, are you in Spain or England right now? In Spain, I actually was in England yesterday. You in England yesterday, you're in Spain today. You are a high-flying jet setter. Catch, to... catch me if you can. <laughs> exactly, you're Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. Uh, Jose, <laughs> I'm sure you've got your finger on the pulse with the Mbappe story, refusing to go away. I mean, PSG have addressed the fact that he wants to leave, his contract's running out. Are you hoping that similar to how Ronaldo did a U-turn from City to United, that maybe Liverpool will go in all in for Kylian Mbappe, poaching him from PSG instead of Real Madrid? I say that in a post. If we sign Mbappe, I do a life in Instagram naked. <laughs> no chance. Wait, no chance. You're, you're going to jump in. Don't, I, we don't do streaking here. We're no streaking. <laughs> <laughs> I will be. I will be. Listen, Adam, I really hope we do that, but being completely honest, I see 99.9% chance that it's happen. Okay. Never. <laughs> I don't I, think Carlton I, I said, and I, I said want... Harry Kane. I said Harry Kane at one stage. Yeah, I was, I was like, I would like to see Harry Kane in that. I think that will complete Liverpool. I, I, I would tell <laughs> Harry. Yeah. I would tell Harry. I'm telling you, I would tell Harry. But I, it's like I said to you. Look, you have to just look at the transfer window of Liverpool for the since these owners arrived. The reality, the only time we're spending big is when we saw Coutinho. That's the reality. When you spend this kind of money, obviously we spend 45 million in Jota, 50 million pan in Keita, that obviously it's a lot of money. But I mean like going to the 80s, 90, 100 million, you know, going to that type, this type of quantity. We done it just with, with when we saw Coutinho, with that money, we got Alisson and Van Dijk. The rest, the maximum is been that, listen, good enough for me, 50 million pounds. So I don't expect Liverpool to go for a map. Obviously, I wish they do. But I, I don't even expect that. But I would expect a similar kind of player like Jota, maybe. Another kind of player like this. Then, like you say, another 40, 50 million pound number eight. You know, and you are complete and you are ready to... That doesn't secure you titles. Like Klopp say, it's true. But everyone else is spending. So Chelsea won the Champions League last year and they bought the best probably striker in the league right now. That is Lukaku. You know, so... What we're doing on that? We're proactive, proactive instead of reactive. exactly. You know how it is. You need to the squad. You know, as a player, you you more when I was on the team. You know yourself when they make a good signing, it cheers the team up. It cheers like, oh, I'm sure United now with Cristiano, everyone will be like, wow, yeah. Ronaldo's coming yeah. here. Yeah. Now let's you know. It gives you an extra boost. It gives you an exactly, extra boost. Exactly. And Liverpool players are well, we're not signing anyone. Yeah. So Calvin, they're 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 good. Yeah. I agree with you. you. They really need to galvanise that team or else the team gets a bit stale and the, the, it's the same old faces that they're relying on. 
Um, at least Jota's come in and he's come in and he's scoring goals. So that's been a bit of pressure taken off of Salah, Firmino and uh, Mane. I thought Mane today was, um, he's not been himself for the last year, I would say. Um, I yeah. think I, I'm expecting more from Mane. So his place even has to be up for question soon because if he's not yeah. scoring and he's not affecting the game, you're going to have to get someone in that's going to refresh that, that side of the team. And it's very important that they do that and be proactive instead of reactive because a lot of managers or clubs, I should say, they always do something to react from a situation when they need to actually have done it before because they can smell it. The managers can smell it. And it, it, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, very interest, it's very interesting whether he's actually going to get the money to do what he wants to do. And um, that's the problem I think you see. He's really working with the board to, to get the players he wants in. But he has to, obviously, it's, it's give and take. You can't ask for too much. And as, as Jose said, um, he has to spend the money in the right way. Otherwise, he's not going to get what he wants out of that, that team this season. Because when Mane and Salah, they leave <laughs> to go to the African nations, who are they going to have? Who are they really going to have? You can't rely on Firmino to get you goals. He doesn't get enough goals. Jota yeah, is yeah. going to be hard for him to, 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 to keep it up the whole season. So you need you need a bit of more reinforcement. And uh, I, I, listen, I'm not a Liverpool fan, but I'm very fond of Liverpool. I have a Liverpool supporters in my in my family, and I'd like to see them. I always like to see them do well. And I don't want them to drop off and let, get left behind because right now the Premier League is really exciting with these guys in there, and you don't know who's going to win um, the Premier League right now because you can see yeah. maybe four four or five teams are capable of winning the Premier League. Yeah. So you you want to see Liverpool in that in that um, vein of form. And, and they can only do that by acqu acquiring the best players to, to match what their style is. Jota was yeah. severely missed last season when he got injured as well. I think it was the final Champions League game. Uh, you could say he was missed almost as much as Van Dijk because of the goals he was contributing before his injury and when he came back and the start of the season. And let's also not forget that in terms of the most famous attacking front threes in world football, the longevity of Salah uh, Mane and Salah, Mane, who am I forgetting? Firmino, yes, of course. Firmino. The three of them has outlasted many, many, many other front threes in world football. So yeah. we'll have to see how long they and can that's keep kind of, going. That's kind, of work, that's kind of worked in their favour because they know each other's game inside out. They know each other's movement. They know exactly what, how they want it, what foot to pass it on. The detailing on how they play together is perfect. But you have to have someone that can come in and do the same thing and take them to the next level. Because um, as football, as you know, football, you can't, you'll get left behind quickly. You've seen the money that's been spent already on reinforcements. And if Liverpool don't spend the money, they'll get left behind, I'm sorry to say.